like this video. Today, uh, I'm shooting this video on th uh, 3rd of September 2023. And there's a reasonable chance that you may have been aware that on August the 29th, sometime last week, the ultra location zones in London expanded to cover literally the whole of London. You might also be aware judicial review the high court challenge to stop this failed although it's subject to appeal now the thing here is i'm here to tell you now that the fight against the ultra low emission zones has not ended it's just begun i won't explain why i'm opposed to this i'm going to give you a better and healthier alternatives and thirdly what you can do legally to stop this and if you look in the link in the comments below you'll see i've given you a whole uh, list of things that you can do so first of all, uh, let me give you uh, why I'm opposed to this. I can hear you all saying, well, you're a former training GP. You did your house jobs in chess medicine. Why are you opposed to this? The simple reason being this ultra low emission zones uh, charges are going to cause considerable hardship, financial hardship and poverty. And the biggest cause of poor health is actually poverty. It's not poor health, it's poverty. The other thing here is, um, let me give you healthier and better alternatives, and let me give you three. The first one is basically what they do in New Zealand. What they do in New Zealand is very simple. They have what's known as the walking school bus. Have you ever noticed how much the traffic dies down when the schools are closed for holidays? The traffic is practically nothing. You just go on the roads today and they'll just say, new school year starting tomorrow, allow, allow more time for your, tra for your journey. There's, the traffic is nothing when the schools on holiday. So let's have that all year round. I don't mean close the schools. What I mean to say is in the walking school bus, what they do in New Zealand for kindergartens and preschools or their equivalent, is let's say you've got a class of 30 kids. What do they do? Four adults go to the first kid's house, pick them up. Then they walk to the second kid's house, pick them up. And they carry on until they've got all 30 children and they take them to school and they reverse it on the way home. Now, over an academic year of 40 school weeks, that's up to 12,000 car journeys saved a year. Multiply that across the U whole UK, and you're talking about a considerable amount of traffic being saved. Okay, so let think about it. The traffic is reduced, congestion is uh, reduced, pollution is reduced, the kids get stronger, fittier, healthier, community relationships are enhanced. What's not to like? Why can't we in, in, in implement this to be a lot better than this silly ultra low emission zones uh, charges? I think they need to get rid of them completely. The second alternative is very simple. Uh, I live in Sheffield and my neighbours tell me that in the uh, 60s, 70s and 80s, the buses were so cheap, they were so heavily subsidised that basically no one bothered driving. People basically got, uh, used the buses. Now the buses were on every route every five minutes very heavily subsidized i understand uh, a journey from where i live to the city center was two pence an all-day ticket was 10 pence so you can imagine how cheap it was let's go back to that a very simple solution and the third thing is what they do in luxembourg i think the luxembourg government needs to be congratulated because what they've done they've made all public transport free buses trains and trams in luxembourg are completely free or sort of they're, pay they're paid out of taxes like our national health service I think that's probably the best way to do it. Now, why do we don't do that? I don't know. So let me detail now what you can do legally to stop this. I don't want anybody not paying the fines that could land you in jail. I don't want that. Please do not go around vandalizing the cameras. Again, that can land you in jail. Well, it will land you in jail. You will get caught. I don't want you doing this. The legal way is to vote Khan out. So this is what I want you to do. Look in the links below. Mm -hmm. And you'll see links to, first of all, how to register to vote. Make sure you're registered to vote. And on May the 2nd at the uh, mayor election, vote him out. Secondly, make sure you've got ID to vote. OK, now we, for, for very legitimate reasons, you've got to have a, a photographic ID to vote. So if you've got a driving license, fine. If you've got a passport, fine. If not, look below. You can get a government ID in order to vote, which is free of charge. Fantastic. Now, what I'd like you to do in terms of who to vote for, uh, please, at the, if you live in London, please vote uh, against Khan and basically just vote him out. If you vote him out, the ultra low emission zone uh, uh, expansion is reversed. Okay, it's as simple as that. 
at the next general election, this is what I want you to do. Reluctantly, if you have a Conservative MP, please stick vote Conservative. Make with reluctance, okay? They, uh, they've done that. In their defence, they've done a wonderful job on the economy. I'm a trader, and I'll detail more of that in uh, what the a great job they've done on the economy in a later video. You won't see the benefit on that on what they've done until December of this year. I promise you that. If you have a Labour, Lib Democrat, or Green MP, please vote Reform or UKIP at the next general election. If you live in Scotland, please vote SNP. Okay, it's as simple as that. We, if, heaven forbid we have a Labour government, we'll have these ultra low emission zones everywhere, and basically you'll be taxed to the hilt. So please don't let that happen. So, what I like to do is go below, look in the links, and basically take action. Let's vote this guy out. Speak to you soon, stay safe, and God bless. Bye bye.